this is Paul Savetto of Windows Phone Central. Here with a quick video look at Temple Run Brave for Windows 8 and RT. This is a spin-off or a remake of Temple Run, the popular endless running game, themed around the Disney Pixar animated movie Brave. Not my favorite Pixar movie, but it did well enough. So you play as Merida, the main character of the film. She's a feisty little redhead, and she doesn't want to do what's expected of her, darn it. So, in the context of this game, that means that she is running away and collecting as many coins as possible. She's being pursued by Mordu, the evil bear of the film. He is a total jerk. And here he comes. If you don't run fast enough, he'll actually catch up to you and kill you. I'm not such an experienced Temple Run player that I know exactly what influences that. Okay. When you're not playing with a touchscreen device, you'll have to use the keyboard. The game, unfortunately, does not support controllers, even though it totally should. You run left and right with the arrow keys, that's fine. Um, you have to hold left or right hard when you're going around corners to turn, otherwise you'll run off the edge. Tapping up jumps. That would be a swipe if you're using a touchscreen. And tapping down slides. So you also have to shoot these arrow targets, that's a thing that is not in the regular Temple Run game. On a... Without a touchscreen, you have to use a mouse to do that. So you have to, you know, steer with your left hand and aim with the right hand. A little bit tricky, so I think this game would be a bit easier and more fun to play on a touchscreen device. Probably goes without saying. Oh, cool. Just got a power up that builds little bridges over the holes. On top of just playing and earning as many coins as you can, there are different little mini optional objectives here. It doesn't look like you get any kind of reward for completing them, as far as I know, but at least they give you a little more something to do. It gives the game some longevity if you buy into them. It's a shame this is not an Xbox Live game, because Xbox achievements would have been perfect. Here's the in-game store where you can buy power-ups and things like that. You have to buy the power-ups for them to actually start showing up, then they are they will permanently spawn. I mean, they'll spawn whenever. You can upgrade the power-ups to make them last longer or be more effective. You can also unlock these different outfits. They obviously cost a lot of coins, but you do earn coins decently quickly in this game, so I wouldn't say they're exactly a rip-off. But if you want more coins, you have to go to the store and spend real money. Unfortunately, at launch, the store is broken. I'm sure they'll have that fixed soon. Temple Run Brave is a quality endless runner. Um, some people might prefer the Gunstring or Dead Man Running because it's Xbox Live enabled, has slightly better graphics. These graphics are pretty basic. On the other hand, this one doesn't have the annoying announcer from the Gunstringer and it loads a lot faster. So, as long as you don't mind the controls, I think this one will prove to be more fun. Thanks for watching. Read the full article at WPCentral.com.